Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Gavin from Balls to You, and in this video I'm going to show you or give you some ideas on what we can do to prevent this from happening or try and help it along. So cue the intro and let's take a look what we can do. Okay, what we've got going on here is these are the eggs that I took off Jasmine the other day. And as you can see, we've got this window forming. Okay, this isn't a good window. Okay, we've also got a little spot here as well on this egg uh, that we're going to obviously look at as well. Now, what this basically means is the egg itself is basically porous and the, uh, the water in the embryotic fluid, which is obviously in there, which helps the embryo grow, is leaking out and we need to stop that from happening. Now, I want to show you guys a few things. Now, I'm not sure if you can see, you see this sort of dark patch here okay now that's not a good sign okay that basically looks to me something's gone on with the embryo or the veins because I can actually see the red healthy veins coming up and then you've got this sort of black patch my instinct tells me this egg is going to die however on this egg here all the veins look really still healthy I don't see any issues but we're going to try and save this egg nonetheless okay so I'm going to show you what we can do there's a couple of things that has been tried and tested with this theory and one of them is using foot fungus powder okay so what I'm doing here I'm just basically as you can see the moisture is leaving the egg which is what we don't want okay because we don't want the embryotic fluid to dry up okay so all I'm doing is I'm basically drying off here the area and it has to be dry And again on this one okay now what uh, has been used before has been used a foot fungus powder which basically um, dries up this area and stops it from leaking now the only problem with that that I've seen before is that you have to keep applying it now it's a cash 22 like I said you know it's it doesn't always work guys and this is never a foolproof however it's my responsibility I've produced these eggs or made the female produce these eggs so I'm going to go out my way to try and help and save these eggs so the method I would prefer to use is a PVA glue and as you can see this is fast drying and a non-toxic obviously you can get this from all sort of uh, stationery shops and this is the sort of stuff that they have at school so what I'm going to do I'm going to apply the PVA glue uh, cover or a coat over this area and a little bit over there and what that should do in theory is dry and create almost like a, um, a sealant or a barrier okay which should help try and keep the fluid in there now like I said I think this one is, is not going to make it but we're going to try and save it nonetheless so let me get some of this glue out okay so I've just got a surface area that I'm just going to put some glue on there and I'm going to put it on manually with hands or with fingers should I say so we don't need too much again guys we don't need too much you just want to create almost like a secondary skin okay for the egg so all I'm going to do now I'm just going to take it with my finger and I'm just going to gently apply it around the good part of the egg okay and work my way into the porous part you don't want too much on there guys because like I said you don't want it running off down the sides again you just want to give it almost like a thin barrier or a thin sealant 
and this isn't a foolproof method guys I have used this and it has worked in the past and I've used it and it hasn't it's gone beyond the point of saving unfortunately but again we're going to do what we can do to try and save this little this little thing bless him or her this little okay so as you can see there we've got a nice uh, coating okay and what I'm going to do I'm going to apply a little bit on this one and I'm going to put it back in the incubator and I'm going to recheck it tomorrow give it 24 hours okay just like that guys now again I'm not saying this will work I'm not saying you, you know this method is better than the foot powder treatment this is just a method that I have used that I prefer to use that worked for me and remember guys everything that I've put out there I have used tried and tested and it works or it hasn't worked let's say um, I'd never take other people's advice and claim it as being my own I always try it first and see what results we get so um, I'll keep you guys posted on this on these two two eggs again I'm not guaranteeing anything that may it may be a little bit too late for this little this little dude but uh, we'll do our best eh okay everyone hope this helps hope this gives you a bit of knowledge and again something to uh, remember in the future regarding what you may have to do or what you can do or what the options are there um, yeah so fingers crossed these two little legs make it anyway guys hope this helps and again um, please hit the subscribe button hit the the, uh, the like button if you if you like the videos it really does help and again hit the notification button you'll see every time I upload a video but again thanks for all your support guys love you all take care and I'll speak to you guys soon